Okay, so it's time to put a crankshaft in. And you want to remember, uh, I've got my Yamabon on my halves. I uh, take it and I smear it pretty flat as I can. Um, you don't want to overdo this because when you tighten this, it's going to squeeze together. And you're going to end up with uh, sealant going into your case and all that crap. So you don't really want to overdo it. I feel like that may be a little too much there if you want to know the truth. But, um, so you'll set into your bottom end like this front. This is your front because this is where your, uh, stator and everything goes. And the way you know that on your, you've got the tapered end on the front. And remember, you've got the little collar that fits on this, uh, in the back. In the back, it fits on with an O-ring. You got that tapered piece. Don't forget to put that back on with your new O-ring, which should be with your gasket set, WSM. Uh, don't buy cheap Chinese seals. Uh, obviously, the 900 and the 1100 crank seal kits are the same. There's your WSM part number for it right there. That's just the seals. They go end to end. I always put marine grease in my bearings because they're open-ended. So I grease those bearings up good, run it. You know, then put my finger on it. Basically, you're packing those bearings with some marine grease. Um, get that lubed up. <clears throat> the two-stroke will lube the other ones for you. But I always put marine grease in these on each end. And then, of course, you've got to build your uh, your your uh, seals, the two that, that face each other. And then the grease goes in between, like I showed you. This is uh, the front. This is the back. The back is a double seal. See this? It's the larger two seals. And you fill it with grease. Okay? So I've got to do that. Pack my seal with grease. Put it on. Put on my little collar. With the O-ring out of the gasket set, which is inside that box. And set this. And when you set this, you've got to make sure all of your little pins are up. Because they set to one side in your case. And you'll notice uh, you've got these holes here. Those line up with, see when I'm setting this down over the top, those holes line up and lock those uh, collars in place right there. So those have got to be up. And then your pins will set in these notches on your upper half of the case. On Yamaha, it's reversed. The lower half has these notches that your pins line into. So it does matter how you set this. So you want all of this stuff facing up. Just face it all straight up. Your pins, see the little pins? Little pins. All of that in your holes, up, up, up for this Kawasaki and then you can set it once you've got your seals on you gotta I gotta get the seals on first and then I'll set it and then I'll come in with my top half and when I when I do this I'm gonna run a bead of silicone also around the seal so that it gets a good seal here for here so there'll be a bead of silicone of the uh, Yama lube Yama bomb whatever the heck they call this crap Yama bond. I'll, I'll run a bead of that around that too, a thin bead of that. So when it sets, it seals prop properly. I've heard of people, some of the seals don't fit right. Those Chinese, when it'll blow the whole seal out. I've heard of that happening to people. So you don't want that to happen. Use a good seal and uh, <clears throat> probably won't run into anything like that. So let me get my seals because I've already got this uh, stuff curing on me. It's not, it hasn't got real tacky yet, but I'll get this uh, crankshaft seated down in here. And that's what you've got to do to get everything ready to go. The hard part is setting the cylinder and doing the rings by yourself. It's really hard. Okay, so my crankshaft is set. All of these are up. And of course, I've got to leave these centered. These collars, this one's off a little, it's got to go that way. But these have got to come down to one side. And how you figure that out is when you go grab your top, 
side of your case. How's that going to line on there? Okay, all of them are over on this side. So I've got to tilt all of the little pins, those little black pins, center screen there, are going to go down to one side of the case down here. And then I can put it together. And you'll see I've run a little bead, very thin coat of uh, silicone on the seal. And that is the way it goes. It, the flat side faces in. Um, and then, of course, your seals, they line up in these grooves on the case that you've got here. Those seals fit in there. Um, there's one in the front, one in the back. And then, like I said, there's an O-ring that goes under this collar. And I was just noticing my gasket set didn't have it in there. And it didn't come with the O-ring for this front. So... It's supposed to be a top end set. I guess that would be bottom end. So I'm going to have to order that O-ring and this new gasket to make this a complete bill. I don't think I want to reuse my old one, although I probably could. I don't want to do that. Not with a fresh build on everything like this. So I'm going to put my cases together, pull all my pins down like this. They'll just touch the edge there, pull all those pins down, and they'll be in position. And like I say, that case ain't going to fit. You've got to get it. You've got your alignment pins that are in the center there. These have got to be lined up perfectly. And I can tell this one's right. This one's off a little. So got to get those lined up, and the case will fit like it's supposed to. All right, you see how I've got this gap like this? You don't want to force this. It seems like it's fitting down here. You got that lineup pin dead center there and the lineup pin dead center here. Obviously, they're not lined up yet because I've got this space. You don't beat that down. You don't try to bolt it together to get it down. That thing will fit perfectly when you have this installed correctly. So I've got to realign that one collar a little bit to get this case to drop in. That's the next step. Okay, so I got my O-ring in. Um, I put a little blue Loctite on this. Some people say put some uh, anti-seize on it. It had some sort of Loctite on it when it came off, okay? So I just put Loctite back on it. Blue Loctite on all your bolts for your cases. And these are the large bolts. You've also got some smaller ones that go on the outside here. Uh, these are 22 uh, foot-pounds for for all of these 12 bolts and if you look real close i don't even get the light on this thing see the numbers that's number 11 i think and then uh, come over 12 those are your torque sequences but basically when you've got when you're dealing with uh multiple bolts like this you want to work your way from the center and in this case, you've got a center four. So one of these in here is going to be your number one. Yeah, that one is. One, two, three, four. And then working out five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's your sequence. And remembering when you torque, uh, don't go to 22 right off the bat. You go half of it first. So crank it for 11. Get your wrench set for 11. Get them all in at 11, then make your final adjustment with the 22, not forgetting to put your Loctite on your bolts. And then we'll get to, these are going to be inch pounds, not foot pounds, because they're a much smaller, uh, little 10 millimeter head bolt. These are 12 millimeter head bolts. And this doesn't have to be super tight, um, because the way the engine turns, it's going in, it's, it's going to, in other words, when, when this engine spins, it's going to help tighten this up. So I've just, I've just basically put it on with a rubber hammer. You don't have to get your impact and, and put this back on. But you've got to remember the collar that goes on. I just took a big socket that fit over, knocked it in, made sure I put my little O-ring in underneath that fits under that collar, beveled into that collar facing down. You've got to be careful taking that collar off because 
it rides on your seal. So if you dinged it up, you're going to have to sand your collar. If you put any burrs in it trying to get it out, if you ding it up, you're going to have to sand it because that, that thing rides in, in on that seal. Uh, SBT does sell those collars if you did manage to forget yours with your crankshaft when you sent it off. They do sell just that collar. I've seen that collar SBT course. I, I'm not pulling it back off to show you. I did show you in the other little part of the video. But, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this engine built. Okay, so all of my mains are torqued. Now I've got to do my little 10 millimeters. They are 78 inch pounds for the, I think it's a 9 bolts that hold that one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine of these 10 millimeter bolts 78 inch pounds and you gotta have a different torque wrench for that obviously because it's inch pounds not foot pounds okay once you've got these they're 78 inch pounds 22 foot pounds these large uh, bolts you've got to put loctite on all of them blue on these and these but for these that mount to your metal plate which that plate is right there 33 foot pounds with uh loctite red you got to use red loctite on this one because uh they can vibrate loose a lot of vibration in there uh, you can either go ahead and get that plate mounted on, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and flip it down and go ahead and build the rest of it before I fool with putting the plate on. You could go ahead and put the uh, the um, flywheel on if you wanted to, or you can go ahead and build the top half of the engine. Um, so it's just how you want to do it, remembering before you put your flywheel on this has got to go in before the flywheel or you're going to have to take the flywheel back off again so remember to put your starter bendix on before you install that flywheel because um, it has to be behind it and when you install that um, put a little grease on each end of the shaft on each end a little marine grease on each end um, yeah, so this is ready to go ahead and build the top end of, uh, of this one. So what I'll do is I'll lay it down and we'll go from there.